it's Chris from LaserLemming.com and Nintendo, Sony, two companies, two powerful companies are going to be going head to head this year. At least that's what the rumors or as the South Park guys like to say the rumors are saying. Because Nintendo is rumored to have the Nintendo NX, that's the code name for their next console and possibly handheld, it's supposed to be coming out this year. And Sony, over the last couple months, has had their own rumors flying around that they're going to have an upgraded PlayStation 4. And it's going to be, it's rumored going under the code name PS4K, I heard another one about PlayStation 4 friends or some, something lame like that. Anyway, there's going to be an upgraded PlayStation 4 coming out at the end of the year. And supposedly, you know, the current PlayStation 4 owners, of which there are tens of millions of them, probably about 30 million, I think, at this point, are going to be able to still play their games, the new games, on their systems, on their current systems. But the PS4K owners are going to have better graphics coming their way, which might cause some problems for the current PS4 owners because their games might not play as well, might not run at such a high frame rate, and they're definitely gonna, not going to run at such a good resolution. That's why it's being called a rumored PS4K. Anyway, I digress. Nintendo, their system, NX, coming out this year, head to head against the PlayStation 4K, Xbox One Point Five is probably not happening for a while. But there is an FCC uh, filing that shows it might be happening sooner than later, despite what Phil Spencer says. Anyway, back to Sony versus Nintendo. New rumors are going around saying that the NX, it's nothing to sneeze at. It's going to be pretty powerful, more powerful than the current PS4, which, as you know, is more powerful than the current Xbox One. So that would put the NX at the top of the game graphically for consoles. No way it's going to outpace a high-end PC, but that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. And I want to throw something out here. While the PS4K might outspec the NX, it might be a little bit more powerful, possibly, who knows. That doesn't mean the end for Nintendo. In fact, it really just kind of puts a little bit of a dark light on Microsoft. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? A lot of people are not a fan of what Sony is rumored to be doing. They're like, I don't want my console game to be like a smartphone. I don't want to have to upgrade every two years. I don't want to have to upgrade every year. And there are people that can't wait to get the PS4K, even though they already shelled out $400 on a PlayStation 4 three years ago, because you know they bought that day one. They bought it day one. So, there are some people that are very supportive of this idea, and I think a lot of the people that do not support a yearly or bi-yearly console upgrade are going to be swayed. Especially if they get a new cell phone every two years. This is the kind of people that are swayed. And that doesn't make you bad if you change your mind or whatever. It's just something that we are not used to in this industry. So it's going to be something to adjust to. And I have a theory. I believe that if both of these rumors are to be true, that is the PS4K is hitting this year and the Nintendo NX is hitting this year, both late fall, early winter, possibly, if both of these things are true, Nintendo stands to gain. Because when the NX was just the system that was coming out in the middle of a generation, it was in shaky waters. It was not standing firm. Because coming out in the middle of a generation is risky. Because you have all these people that are already firmly secure in their console of choice. Most people do not get two or three consoles a generation. They get Uno, one. The Wii was the exception to the rule because the Wii, everybody had a Wii. Everybody had a Wii. People that didn't own multiple consoles had a Wii. People that did own multiple consoles had a Wii. Everybody had a Wii. It's the exception though. Most people just owned a PS2 or just owned a GameCube or just owned an Xbox. Most people just owned a 360 or a PS3. That goes completely contradictory to what I just said. But I mean, by that, I mean most people did not have a PlayStation 3 and an Xbox 360 or vice versa. They all had a Wii. <laughs> I digress. Anyway, what I'm saying is, if Sony comes out with the PS4K and it changes the mind state of people who, it changes the way we think about a console generation, it would pretty much blur the lines completely and eventually, if successful, erase it. 
because it would mean pretty much all future consoles would be backwards compatible and they would all be upgradable and people would get them. They would get a new console every year. I mean, it would start off as probably every two year kind of thing, but then it would become an every year kind of thing. And Sony would love that. Microsoft would love that. They say right now they wouldn't, but believe me, Microsoft would love that. They're not in the smartphone game for nothing. They would love to own your living room and have you constantly shelling out $400 every two years for their system. They would love it. Nintendo, before any of these rumors started, Nintendo was kind of rumored sometimes to be doing something similar with the NX. So it's possible that all three system manufacturers could be on board for this. And that would completely change the way we play video games. Not necessarily for the better, especially if you are okay with the idea of a generation lasting five to eight years, especially with the 360's case. If you're okay with that, you know, you say, say, I buy this system once and I play a bunch of games and they all play the same to the same standard. You don't have to worry about the way Gears of War 5 plays on your original Xbox One because the Xbox 1.5 plays it better and the, the, the game was geared towards that newer Xbox. You don't want to have to worry about that. You don't want to have to worry about your original Xbox One playing it at a stuttering frame rate, lower graphical fidelity, lower resolution. People don't want that. Lots of people don't, but that's the way it's been on the PC forever. So that might be the way we're going. And I think Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, they would love to get your money way more than every five to eight years, every four to eight years. They would love that. And it's possible. We have lots of rumors suggesting Sony is definitely doing that this year. Kind of a bold move from the company that is winning. But uh, they're going for it. At least it looks that way. And I think Nintendo stands to gain from that. Because if Nintendo has another console coming out at the same time, another generation if you will, all of a sudden a lot more people are thinking about upgrading. They're thinking about the next gen, even though it's only been three years. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, I think Nintendo stands to gain. I think the NX suddenly has much more possibilities behind it. Much more opportunity. But those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section below. Do you think the NX has a chance? Do you think that Sony is actually possibly breathing more life into Nintendo? At least their consoles. Because, you know, the Wii U, not doing so well. But Nintendo has high hopes for the NX. We don't know what it is. We'll know in about T-minus a month and a half. That'll be interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You'll like what you see. I'll see you next time.